We're going to be remodeling the denim, finding out the contestants for the fastest death metal albums, and then opening some cool sh** Hellcast. For Reaper Metal Productions, this is Hellcast, the only show saying don't smash a like, don't subscribe. Just go to ReaperMetalProductions.com, and when you're there, you can find out all the great episodes of Hellcast featuring j Dog. because when you need metal, go to hell, hellsidebangers.com. And that'll help out J-Dog, too. And everybody will be happy. And that's far better than a robot at YouTube and all that bullshit. So, Dawn of the Dead was on. And, yeah, we were talking about... Yeah, the new album. Just We actually just got the CDs on this week. Okay, so at the, at the time of recording this, anyway. Yeah. At this they're point, it might early. Well, that, that don't happen often at Hell's. Push that up to your face a little bit more. The dick in the mouth again? Yeah, maybe put you on headphones, too, so you can kind of see where your mouth is. Um... <laughs> Why would I be able to see where my mouth is with fucking headphones? Well, I mean, as far as like the loudness and stuff, and feel uh, free to move that around. Okay, but, yeah, uh, that makes sense. It's a bare bones episode, but yeah. So Don was here though, and uh, I just figured it was. Fucking, a, did you hit sit on this hunchback chair? Hunchback chair was and everything. Like, oh, oh dude. my butt hurts. <laughs> that did not happen. Oh. <laughs> this is a sore ass yeah. chair. <laughs> got got the got the sunlights in here. The tanning slot. The no back for. I, I figured the I figured the tanning slot was inviting for you. Well, I. Just, not when I'm all fully dressed, fucking sweaty, <laughs> sweaty forehead, gotta wipe the bra. Yeah, well, hey, welcome to the new studio, I guess. The same fucking spot, only just uh, The lights light. were always hot, though. Yeah, well, hey. I, the, honestly, that'd be, uh, in post-production, I gotta go through. I was gotta get a fan, that's what you need in production. A nice, breezy fan. Yeah, but then we'd hear it in our microphones. And we what do, I, dude, I get compliments all the time about the audio the quality, audio. so. Yeah, so, fuck yeah. I mean, these are some nice, uh. Nice phones. Yeah, but nice. there are some things I don't like, but we'll... Yeah, don't. but it's way better than the tape thing I had. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this fucking guy, see, look, the, the hands are, it doesn't have bags falling out of them. See? It, it took Where, a while. Where's, where's his mask at? <laughs> where's his mask? Yeah, that man, is. Man, we put a mask on his face once for the, when the uh, COVID oh. do shit came on for the first time. Oh, yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. an old episode. Well, it's fucking over a year ago now. Remember when it first went on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did the, well, we did the autopsy kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean that that was honestly the best thing that could have come out of the COVID. one of the best things was just doing a metal podcast and doing one of our parody kind of covers. Yeah. And then seeing if anybody got it. Did you fucking get it? <laughs> did you get the did you get the reference? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, then it still didn't get the reference. No. But um but so yeah, so Don, yeah, was here. But and so um I had to take that opportunity because as I think you know, I'll remind you, is uh and you by the don't know internet. I'm looking at the right camera. Um is that there is a a tool that you can use to find out what people are searching for, literally down to how they're searching for it. Like, is it I fucking love Deicide, or is it Glenn Benton for president from Deicide, or is it just simply Glenn Benton fucking? You about what, what, like a Google search? Yeah, you can find out literally what they search for. You know, okay, and and how it would be searched because you could phrase it around. So, talking about that. I, I've, I I found out in that process that there was then people looking for how to make a battle vest, that like uh like for patches and shit. Exactly. So See, I, that's, that's that's already annoying. You already don't deserve to have one if you're searching how to do it. It's just you <laughs> throw it on the way you like. They think looks cool. One hundred percent. My point. One hundred percent. A lot of posers out there, I guess. Yeah. Well, so or just like or, I don't know even know about that, but like just overcomplicating something that only be complicated. I'll give them that. Right. So I then had to a, a goddamn computer to tell them what to do for everything. Can't do their own math. They can't do anything. They get the, they don't have their little brain, their little device. How do how do I do a vest? Just get some sewing thread and put the patches where you think look cool. Why? Self-explanatory. Well, so while well, the, what if it looks like shit? Does it look good to you? Yep, that's all that matters. You don't need just to look at it. it. Like figure it out, dude. That's what I did. You know, you fit like some of my favorite, dude. dude nobody's creator got, sound destruction, dude, right? Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's got my uh, my uh, leather jacket beat. Well, so first off, you, I was going to ask you that because mm-hmm. uh, people might be like, "What the fuck, are you guys talking about vests for?" Reaper's the only one wearing it, and he never fucking wears it anyway until now. This fucking poser. Granted, they would have to be following the show that long, so I, I doubt that that troll would be saying that. But you know what I'm saying? So and you're not wearing one at all, but you do, and you, but you never did go down the denim route. Dang. But hold on a second, I gotta, before I gotta, you no, comment, I... before you comment, because the first thing I got to make the point is the reason why I brought it up to Don. 
the whole subject of like how because the comment was it's fucking stupid like i agree with you uh that like yeah you're looking for how to do a a, a battle vest so my first question was taking the opportunity of don somebody that grew up was there you know that that was kind of their scene that 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 generation of metal yeah. fans yeah, so like is. so like yeah so his first comment was like uh, i was like did they even call it a battle vest like I just call it a vest. <laughs> but then it and then it's just it ain't just Don. It ain't just fucking metal elite attitudes if you're to put him in that category because as Running Wild reminds us, chains and leather or, or I'm sorry, uh Saxon, denim and leather. Or plenty of bands bring up denim, you know? Yeah. And fuck, isn't there a Running Wild? Chains that, and that's leather. Chains is, and leather, that's but on, uh the second album. I thought somebody there's somebody that has denim. <laughs> I just can't fucking think of it. Saxon definitely does. Yeah. But Denim is brought up, and I was, and so I was honestly thinking, it's like, how did it go from battle vest to denim? I didn't need an answer. I don't give a shit. It's just commentary. So to have literally, yeah, kind of somebody that was there even say, I don't know, I wouldn't even call it the battle vest thing, did definitely agree in the how-to thing. So regardless of all that, we commented on that. I wanted to take this opportunity today as I'm sporting mine. I've put it on for the fir- first time in a while because I am that poser. I'll admit it. I'll fucking take it, internet troll. Don't leave the comment. Um, you go through these patches. These are the stack of my patches. But honestly, like, sh- dude, I pull on my vest. Like, they need renovations. Yeah, and, so I, me, I, and I figured this would be me, a good opportunity for you to help. Well, for me, for patches, um, so like I said, every, people I don't know, and the only reason I don't have it no more is because they don't fit. I mean, no, I have them. It's just I don't wear it because they don't fit me. Because um, Oh, so the, 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 the leather jacket that you teased about doesn't fit you correct and then i have a leather vest as well it's it's not a denim because me I, I i don't like like uh jean jackets and stuff like that and i don't like i'm a uh see not to sound too, totally cheesy or whatever but like death death metal and black metal which is primary when i'm in mostly death metal i think it carries over it's kind of like what Euronymous said on the dawn of black cards it's about black clothes you know crosses leather you know what i mean like I didn't like like the like I wasn't like the blue jean guys and shit like that. Yeah. Now, if you ever notice, I like I, I all I wear is black. Well, that's I mean, that's a part of the how too is find some so, fine fabric you so, like. like. All I had was like my vest was a black leather vest, and then I have a black leather uh, jacket. And the jacket's really cool. It's covered in spikes, pins, and patches from head to fucking toe. And uh, I don't think anyone pretty much has outdone it. And I still have it to this day. It's really cool. But my general rule of thumb for the patches. My role, just because it's just what I—it's my personal preference—is it's go seatbelt or go home. Like this Dark Angel is really nice. These are the best patches, quality-wise. I mean, obviously, you quality might, and look-wise, might, like might this, not be able to find them this at this to me, point. This to me looks like shit. Though the textile de- Text, dissection, yeah, that, that's garbage. in My book. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. some, but, but that's personal preference. Some people like them. Like, uh, see that—that's seatbelt. That's really nice. Well, and there's, and then they got the embroidered quality to them. Look at, this. Look at that. Does anybody remember this band? Let me remind you while you're going through there, though, you're looking for Reap Dog, Reap Dog highlights because we're going to go through my vest here uh-huh. and we're going to find, because they're, dude, there's, there's offenders. There's def- and then there's even like things that make me a poser for having them on there, and I agree. And people have called me out on them, and I'll happy to get, I'll be happy to get what rid of them. Offenders like shit that you're we'll looking to see. put on there, like stuff that. Well, I'm shit, on. we'll get rid of and flip out for. But like, no, like while you're going through that, find ones that would be definite. Like, yeah, Reap Dog needs that on his vest. I mean, granted, they're my patches, <laughs> so that might be. I mean, uh, in my book, for me, yeah, I mean, in uh, your book, I want to make it interesting. Look at that sharp ass looking Misfits one too. See, up seat belt. But it's embroidered on there, and it just—it's not like, it's just almost like I always thought these kind of had character because you're putting it on a different piece of uh, like fabric, and you're not just scanning it from a CD or whatever, and just literally putting it on there. And it looks like exactly like you're looking at the cover of a yeah. CD or something. It's like it has no character. This and, is like cool that someone was able to make that. That's the way I looked at it. Oh, uh, this the goddamn fucking thing's falling. Oh, this is a muster out the gate. You wearing the shirt, rigor mortis logo, dude. I, you the thing is that kills me is you know how you know rigor mortis. Like the first album and shit like that. Like, you know, people like it and they know it and it's classic, but not as much as you would think. No, I know. Like you I would know. think like to to me, if you if you claim And then to it was like, biggerly put if you like if you claim to be into metal, thrash metal, and you don't like you I I never heard it, just, just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like just straight up, just get the fuck out of here. Well, I might already have that on there. So let's let me show off the So first off, my choice in, in cloth was and if you watched the Heavy Metal Relics video years ago or see me whatever in any form, I guess you've seen this. And no, but like that was my I had I wore camo shit. I had a uh, like a hunting vest and that was my thing. And I was like, Yeah, I, I I'm gonna wear like black pants with it and shit. Like, you know, you got you just 
you had your thing. Like, I didn't look to somebody. I just looked to my fucking you closet. Yeah, you go out what you, yeah, you, like, you I, like. I, I, like, I wear this. Like, I'll wear that vest. I'll sew shit onto it. So uh, this one doesn't so much have offenders, like things that would flip off. See, because, like. It's got plenty of space still, though. Well, yeah, it does. Because disclaimer to that remark of the offender kind. Because, like, some of these, I remember, like, three years. So let me just cut to the chase. Because there's a fucking big-ass Metallica logo patch. That's something I got to get rid of. Why? Because realistically, even though it's on there, and I know the internet doesn't like when I point it out or subject f- figures of the internet that watch these videos, they don't, don't regularly and know my regular tone, I guess. Like, they call that out, like, how could you dare? Like, they're, they're the titans of thrash. And it's just like, Thing that's is, I, fine, I, dude. I'm just <laughs> bored by it. You know what I mean? I well, don't need, AC, and then AC, especially. AC, ACDC is just as popular. They got that on there. Well, that's what I'm saying. I need yeah. help to get the, the thing is, I don't actually, know if I, I needed help, I, I help I don't, but, like, I'm going to get rid of these ones. Take I, them off. I, I don't think you need to, and the reason why I'd say that, I actually, I kind of like to see them on there, and the reason being is because finally when, you, when you're out and you can meet that Panini's douche again, when he sees Metallica and shot there, it's like, yep, that's Metallica. See all these other bands? Those are the ones you should know that you don't. And that's how you know you're a fucking poser that shouldn't even be listening to Metallica because you don't know these bands. True. Here's, here's the thing is, for example, I understand not everybody likes death metal and black metal and shit like that. So maybe you just like you like like traditional metal. Like, this is why I had you do this, by the way. <laughs> but so I'm saying, so like so like for example, if if Metallica you're like Metallica's my favorite band, like I have no problem with that. There's nothing wrong. I think the first four Metallica albums are great. Hell, I even somewhat like the black album. Now it's commercialized as fuck. But yeah, Eddie be it, pissed. What's that? Speaking of Eddie, he'd be pissed. Why? He hates that album. I remember when it came out. Fucking my sister liked it. <laughs> I, I, well, I don't. I don't think. I don't think he likes the majority of the stuff I like. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't think he likes a lot of the death metal. So I, yeah. think, I think he's. No, I'm just saying. But uh, but no. But so what I'm saying is, I don't think there's anything wrong with that band. The problem is the fan base. Now, since they blew up, for example, if you claim you like Metallica and you never heard, you never heard Sacrifice. You never heard Exodus. You never heard Overkill. You never heard Hyrax. You know what I mean? You never heard Blood Feast. Like, just don't even flat out forget liking them. Just yeah, never even heard them. Yeah, don't the flat out stuff of the scene. Just, just get the fuck out of here. Because you don't, you, you're not a fan of this kind of music. You don't like rigor mortis. You're not a fan of this kind of music. You just, you heard them because that's what was shoved down your throat. And you just take what people give you. Well, that's what I did. That's how they got there in the first place. And that's why I want to exchange them. I like your rationale of why to keep them so you could shove it in their face. Because that's like, the shit. Well, if you like this shit, well, I like this other stuff. And why don't you only like, you know, one thing on here, you know, motherfucker. Look. But I took what I could get. And Kanye, and, and, and when I was starting my vest and shit, like, uh, dude, I was like ordering, like, the, the seatbelts weren't around. Hells didn't have the seatbelts. So, like, you're ordering, uh, did you see that sweet uh, old school uh, protector patch in there? Like, I had to order that from Germany. Mm-hmm. And that was one of those old school woven ones, which, by the way, to when you're saying about how sweet this, the, the, uh, Seatbelts are, which I agree. Uh, I love the old school woven ones too because they embody the patch oh, the, style the, the, the of 80s, like the '80s woven ones. Are some, yeah. I have a couple King Diamonds and stuff. They're fucking on my sweet. Thing. Yeah, some are really cool. They had a lot of character. It wasn't, but it wasn't just like a CD. It wasn't just a CD or an LP scam. That was just that's exact. Like and this, and even if it this, was, is, this is shitty in my opinion. Well, because it's like it's like screen printed that's on exact, there too. That's like, what I mean. Exactly. Well, yeah. Like that's t-shirts. You screen print on t-shirts. You don't yep. screen print. On, Correct. And then exactly. if you do, that's fucking punk. Yeah, and there's yeah, those yeah. shitty like plat- patches that are falling apart. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but talking about the Metallica thing though, like uh, the, what's Do annoying we? too, like <laughs> no, no, actually I prefer we don't. But the thing is, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, is I think that they uh, people that rip on them and shit like that, it's like that's fine. You can rip on them all you want, but then that means you need to rip on Black Sabbath. That means you need to rip on the Misfits. That means you need to rip on Iron Maiden. Let's face it, these bands are all just as big and commercialized and shit like that. ACDC, don't talk about them. Judas Priest, don't talk about them. Give them a fair shot. Go equal. You know yeah. I mean? If you're going to be just Mr. Underground only, that's totally fine. But don't sit there and like, yeah, but the best best metal band of all time is Black Sabbath. Well, dude, that's, my dad listens to Black Sabbath. That's not like, that's just as commercialized. Yeah, you'd be like that guy uh, that so, had the Iron Maiden only best. Yeah, so, great. so like I said, because that's why I give them respect. That I don't mind seeing, like like I said, you have an ACDC patch on there and you have Metallica. And if you have a Sabbath, I think that's cool. And then when you have all the other bands, because when all those fucking douchebag homos that come to you fucking Paninis, oh, I like this or that. How okay. often do you go with well, Paninis well, that they're coming the, up That's to the old <laughs> reference for the new guys. Gotta, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. That's the inside <laughs> joke. <laughs> go to wall. You know what I mean? When they go there and they say, yeah, dude, master of puppets, fuck yeah. Yeah, do you like Sacred Reich? Never heard of them. Like Rigor Morris? Never heard of them. Like Atomizer? Never heard of them. What else is on there? Like Rigor Mortis, never heard of them. Like Creator, no, dude, come on, you never heard of Creator. Get the fuck, just get the fuck out of here. Well, and then you could totally ace, or you could totally J Dog get the fuck them out of here because then, then, because because when you when you when you gave them the the, the stink face that they noticed, um, 
they'd be like, well, dude, you like that underground shit. And you're like, not underground, Holmes. Check this out. Do you think a fucking underground band was able to make their own metal badge? Hence is how I'm representing the Reich. You know dude, what I'm especially saying? Especially Sacred So look, I, I saw Sacred Reich on there. Who flipped over? I just saw some. Oh, for example, all these guys, all these, like, Slayer's another contendent that, uh, you know, I love, like, Shono Mercy is one of my favorite records of all time, right? But you would get those panini douches that come up to you who have Slayer, right? You have Hobbs' Angel of Death on there. In my book, that's basically like the fucking Australian Hell Awaits album. You know what I mean? The first album and uh, the demos. Yeah, it's great. How do you not... So, you only like that underground stuff, dude. But these Slayer fans that, you know, I mean, the Poser fans, yeah. they've never even heard of Hobbs' Angel of Death. Wouldn't even give it a chance. It's like, dude, because you're, you're not into this, man. You're just some poser that goes by what's shoved down your throat or what's cool or makes you look cool. There's more of the, I mean, there's more on, of the dude, Slayer contenders. Dude, Infernal Ru- Majesty. Dude, dude, Running Wild, Gates to Purgatory, my favorite album out of Germany of all time. How the fuck do you not like that? Look at this. Boo! <laughs> I want to take it all. Well, you got it on your best, poser. That's what I'm saying, though. I got two of these damn things. And, like, I just put them on there at the time. It's kind of what you had. And I had the, yeah, I like it. But, like, at this point in time, I got a whole bag of them. I don't want it on there. I want to put shit up. I mean, honestly, I'm a poser for having slowly we rot. I don't. I I like it, but I don't like. It's not like one of your favorite. I don't Hobbs. love it over fucking Hobbs' Angel of Death, and Hobbs is on there. So like, you know yeah, what? You're, like, you're just putting on like your more favorite bands. Yeah, I mean, yeah. before it was wrong to talk about ice. Which Earth. makes sense because you know, like say, let's just say theoretically, you could fit 50 patches on a vest. Theoretically, you figure, okay, well, I like a thousand bands. Let's just say, because who knows how many bands? I probably you know easily a thousand. If you can only put fifty, why wouldn't you put on like your top fifty? So it yeah. makes sense. Well, that's what I'm for saying. example, like yeah, like me person that with that mindset, yeah, I wouldn't put Metallica on there because yeah, I like the early albums, but they're not my, Metallica's not my top fifty. I'm sorry, they're not. Well, then it's also you know? this, like in a way, if we're talking like vests and replacing shit, it kind of goes like literally back to it, like. I liked all the, like these are the stuff that I like. I hunted down an ice birth patch. Like you used to be able to like them. Then the guy fucking raided the Capitol, and then everybody got all mad. Um, <laughs> What's that got to do with the music, though? I, I don't know. know, dude. I'm so. I mean, sick. and then they're a patriotic band. Doesn't it make dude, you kind of like a, hmm, dude, something no, weird? Dude, another thing that automatically makes me question of how don't go there. How much you're into the music <laughs> is if you dismiss a band or you stop liking them based on something the person did. Yeah, well, that and then that was twenty some years later. I mean, Grant, I didn't, no, I, don't I, don't, I didn't. Like, for like example, the, like like the, fucking uh, Pat O'Brien and Cannibal Corpse going off the deep end with this yeah. meth out of his skull or whatever. Like, I don't want dis- now dislike Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, well J Dog, he didn't, he didn't like dis- I he didn't desecrate your country's capital. Um, so so fine, but I I don't I I like those albums that were be before all any of that happened. That's why and and when I was fifteen, yeah, but the, I would have liked the, like, the fuck. Funny, you know what the fuck? But I would like like fuck is fifteen and no, have that you know be the irony of that, that, the, the sheer irony of that too is like a lot of these metal bands. I didn't and mean punk, to do that. A lot of these metal bands and punk bands sing about anti politics and desecration of. I know. Uh, Dude, like, we're gonna, no, it's just hilarious because, like, it pissed people off. Especially this jackass that I work with every day and stuff like that. He's all, like, pro, like, politics and America and shit like that. It's like, but yet you like a lot of these bands, these greats that were calling all this bullshit out and how corrupt everything is and how much everything fucking sucks. You didn't get the message? I got it loud and clear. You know I mean? Say you're right. Say right. American way. Talking about no truth, no justice. Yeah. Lady Liberty rots away. No truth, no justice. American way. Yeah. They knew it was up in 1990. Yeah, those are my ideologies. I'll, I'll, I'm not, I'm not going to get it because I don't want anybody's pussy to get hurt. But it's like when people are all, all fucking red, white, and blue, and shoulders back. It's like, give me a fucking break, dude. You're in the metal scene. This is supposed to be offensive and rebellious to begin with. Yeah. Um. So I would definitely like, I, you, dude. I like Atomizer more. Dude, the fucking. Uh, that's right. You know what I mean? Up. Atomizer, the only weapon of choice. I think that's one of the most underrated fucking records ever. So you chose these. Or you uh, just started no, throwing shit down uh, and gave no, up. No, the only one actually I did choose choose was uh, the rigor mortis for sure. I think it's mandatory. Is I, that any? I thought I had a rigor. Like, dude, that was like something I was so excited about. But there you go too. Like, dude, I remember when Kanye did the spawn of Satan patches. Those I was are, stoked like yeah, a motherfucker. That's really cool. Because yeah. you know what I mean. Like, because then that's even at the time too, it was like hell yeah, I can actually have like the bands that I really fucking like on my vest too, not this Metallica bullshit. Because I didn't think I didn't I, even Slayer. Like they're just on there because there wasn't enough to fill. And like I, it, well man, I can't wait until the day comes. There's oh, a rigor mortis. This is the one I put. This is what's on mine. This is the one I put. That's how you make them vests, that's, motherfucker. That's a patch. Find that shit. That's a patch. Rick and Mortis. But you know what I mean? Down. Like, going back to that bullshit, too. How to make a battle vest. Like, you go and find this bullshit. You you, you pull a Reaper and get what you got, get pissed off about it, get rid of it. I mean, you know, I guess you don't have to do all that, but we got some we got some winners. In there. You know, it's and, funny because my jacket, I started when I was 16 years old. 
so exactly 20 years ago now. Yeah. And I looked at it probably about like, it's just hanging in my closet, right? I looked at it probably about six months ago and shit. And I was just, you know, shits and grins, you know, what I, just kind of looking at it. And I can honestly say, I just said, to, I said out loud, I said to Lindsay or whatever, I was like, or maybe I said to myself, maybe I was talking to myself, who knows, but whatever, I said it. It's like literally <laughs> I like, said it. yeah, there's not one goddamn band that I would not put on there today that I dislike that's on there. Not one. So I'm like, oh shit, that's kind of embarrassing that's on there. So it's just funny, like, well, I mean, I did ask somebody, like, he literally, like, send me a, a photo of me mm-hmm. that, it, like, you always rag on Metallica. You got that? I rag on them, too, but I rag on... <laughs> the thing is, when I'm ragging on them and Slayer and Maiden and shit like that, I'm not ragging on the band, per se. Although Metallica got really, really shitty, and so did... Well, Slayer not as bad, but Metallica... I'm, I'm just ragging on, I'm like, ragging everybody on, keep dude, talking I'm, about I'm, the same no, shit. I'm not... Dude, I'm ragging on the fan base. Because well, yeah. it's just a bunch of posers that listen to them that don't even... Like, dude, again... If you listen to the Metallica, there's no reason you should be listening to Overkill and Hyrax. There's like literally no reason, flat out no reason they should. Is there like an them. Overkill patch in there? That that'd be on, one. No, no, that, no. that'd be on the vest. I, no, I didn't see one in there. Yeah, I know. I agree, uh, especially for yourself because I knew that'd be in one of your tops. No, because a lot of these bands, I don't know. But like, even some of that, like even that though, like because like, like for example, the, you're not gonna put a Cyclone on that. That's not one of your favorite bands. You know what I mean? No, but I, I. No, but you like the shit. But I'm saying, just like Master, I know you like them in the unreleased 1985 album, like myself, which is the best album by them. Go and check it out, motherfucker. Unreleased 1985 album, best thing. I think it called it Unknown Soldier at now, this point. Yeah, the, this, the new um, it came out a year or two ago. That's what they call that disc. It's the same recording, but yeah, I call it Unknown Soldier. Yeah, but the uh, what was it? Merciless Records that originally put it out. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, uh, unreleased 1985. It's a damn album. merciless, bringing up Buried God earlier, and, and yeah, off the show anyway. Well, back in the early 2000s. Uh, they were um, late '90s, early 2000s. Dude, they were putting out tons of shit. A lot of good stuff too. Yeah, Cyanide. Cyanide was one. Yeah, yeah. No, I know Cyanide was definitely one of them. Another one. Uh, actually, I want Hell's to reissue. Uh, never is uh, the band uh, to this day. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. In uh, Eternum. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, with- yeah. Like they did like Merciless, like they Forever Blasphemy. And they really I thought those fucking records are great. A lot of the 15 year olds watching never even heard it. So that's why you got to reissue it on Hell's because the Para from Nominon was on that one of those records. I think he was on a later one though. I don't think he was on like Forever Blasphemy or the uh, he might have been on like that, that later one, Nuclear Armageddon maybe. Yeah, maybe that. But um, yeah, I thought the first two records by them were fucking fantastic, really good. But I mean, and it's just it's just a shame because. They, I wouldn't call them like an obscure band, but cer- certainly more underground than Metallica. Uh, it's just like, but even the per- average, per- you know, young buck in the getting into metal now, 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, he's gonna. The only way he's gonna be able to get that is buy it out of somebody's collection. Just even fuck, he's got to f- first hear about it, know about it. It's almost unavailable, and, and you know, I kind of like as I've, we've had this conversation before a lot on Hell's. I like to see a lot of the stuff get reissued a lot that I grew up on because it's a shame to see that's not available no more. And it's the stuff that I. Love and was of the you know late '90s, early 2000s when I was a kid. See it come out again because otherwise these kids, it's just gonna fall into obscurity. They're never gonna know about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's not available. It's the most racy so. way to listen to music. It's six nine seconds. The show or the show, the segment that is here to appease the YouTube algorithm with six music clips and nine seconds of it. And like I said earlier, um, Adam, who's a longtime Reaper uh, Metal Patreon and just fan, uh, has been gracious enough to chime in on a previous conversation, the fastest, sickest, heaviest, uh, what was that, episode number 115? That was a while ago now. Yeah. He uh, said that these are the contestants for the fastest death metal albums. Uh, do you have any foresight that m- what that might be before I even reveal who? Fastest death metal albums. Uh, or just a band. I mean, like I said, it, again, it depends on what you define as fast, because when I think of fast, I think of Christian, but I think of like Morbid Angel, Alters of Madness. I think of um, Angel Corpse. I think of, uh, so, because obviously those have like a lot of blast beats, right? Yeah. I think of Early Nile. Um but are they going by like just pure like blast beats? Or are they going by? Uh, uh, you know what I mean? Guitar, you know what I'm saying? That's it's what, just Adam, and apparently he thinks Origin is one. Oh, of them. dude, antithesis. It, it, you know, right? Right? Actually, I don't even know that. I I, I like the first two albums. Well, we're gonna sure. know. I especially Nine like the seconds of the name. I especially like the first <laughs> album, but that that is a fucking fast band. Yeah, you I wouldn't, mean, you wouldn't like them at all. I didn't. I don't. I've seen them. The first, I know. I, I, I've seen them. I heard I, like them. I, said, I like the first two. Uh, but, uh, after the second album, I was kind of like, yeah, it's getting a little too technical and shit for me, and a little too polished. The first album I like a lot. The self-titled, I think it's catchy as fuck. 
Remember they played with uh, Deicide at that horribly sounding show in uh, Cleveland. Not because the band sucked, but because the ah, sound wasn't as bad. Sound, wasn't sound as bad man as was you, really wasn't bad. Bad sound as you said. I still understood everything, but yeah. Do you know Brain Drill? No, I don't even know who that is. No. All right. Well, uh, he put the the Parasites EP and then pop uh, Apocalyptic Feasting, uh, which I'm assuming is an album. It's funny. A lot of, of this uh, stuff though. Yeah, nine tracks. I, the, the vibe I'm already getting, based on how it's a later origin album, at least later than the first two. In this band I never heard of, I'm already getting the impression that uh, this sender is is a younger fella, or or and or he's just more up to date with the uh, shit in the last ten years. That I'm just I'll be honest, I'm kind of out of the loop on. That's why Adam's here. That's why yeah. he sent it. He wanted us to be in the loop. He wanted his favorite fucking podcast yeah. to be no, more say, representative yeah, of what he's into. He's starting to, show, <laughs> starting to show the age. You know what I mean? So like, he said, wait, he said, fuck talking about that Metallica shit. I got yeah. the fastest fucking shit to talk about. You want to talk about how kill them all fast anymore? <laughs> I didn't talk about that. I, talk, I mentioned critic slaughter and really old shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, Rep- dude, I, honestly, like, yeah, back to your Panini's douche though. It's like, he wouldn't even like be in, in, able to even like be in the room of a conversation like this, like what's faster no. than Kill 'Em All, or yeah. they wouldn't even that up. What's faster than Black Album? Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> what, uh, what's best, faster than the Death Metal? No, no, he would say he <laughs> that this is something they would say. They one of those guys would certainly say what's faster than Slayer. One of them would definitely say that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They well, say that. Corn the Adam Origin, and honestly, reap the well, second well, in that I, fucking I, I, notion. I, I'm, I'm very familiar with Origin. I just yeah, after, I'm not very, but I'm familiar oh, yeah, enough to I'm say it's fucking faster than Slayer. I don't know if I like it better though. I, like it's a little too fast for me. Well, it just we'll got real too technical and polished for me. Like I said, I really like the first album. The second one, I'm like, ah, it's good. And it was getting kind of polished on there. And then third album up, I'm just like, yeah, I don't really. I'm just like, you know what I mean? Just old man Justin just kind of like. Is that what it is, old man Justin? Or I thought like maybe Justin never really cared. No, like the first two albums. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I know. I, 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 or got, I don't know. I was trying to figure this fucking thing out, honestly. So, all right, let's, let's, let's take a listen. We got uh, 34 seconds on the clock, so we're going to count up to 45 from there. Pretty fast. I think that's nine. Um, I mean, that that's all you need to know how fast it is. But in a way, that's kind of what I don't like about those kind of bands. Is Because in a way, that nine seconds was good enough for me to even know what See, that the, rest of that album's kind of bands, like. I think, are, are, would be absolutely, and like I said, a lot of... The bands that were, I guess, the the, ge- the geezer in us, it, or at least especially me, because you don't like a lot of that stuff too. That stuff that was the fastest time in like late '90s, early 2000s that I like, um, is as long as as long as I could differentiate the songs and and I liked them, I thought they were catchy. I liked it being fast, and the later shit, it's kind of like, but again, that might that's what I'm saying. The geezer part might come in. Is it just got to the point where you're saying like, I like how fast this and shit? I was like, but the shit just all sounds the same. Yeah, but maybe that's the old guy in me because twenty years ago the stuff that was hey, the fastest like time of- I liked a lot of, but the stuff that came out probably let's say for example two thousand ten, whatever the fastest thing in two thousand ten coming out almost guaranteed I'd be like, yeah it sounds cool but I was like literally every song I can't even it, it just sounds like a wall of noise. Yeah, what do you think? That brain, was, what do you think about what uh, have you you didn't never even heard of them. Brain Drill, which is next up. Uh, S- sir, uh, can you bring it? Is it a new band? I'm, I'm almost, I almost bet you anything it's a new band. New, new uh, world. The, when I say well, new, you want me to go to the to me new is too. So the young bucks watching 2008 up is new in my mind. All right, well let's go to the internet and find out because uh, I remember 2008 like it was yesterday. So to me that's new. Who, uh, brain Drill, right? Mm-hmm. And duh, I the, never heard. I've never even heard of them. Yeah, I that doesn't sound familiar at all. What was that like? Uh, nuclear uh, Nuclear War Now band? Oh, Brain Dead. But that's an older band for early for early nineties. But what, what, okay, yeah, the Malaysian, right? Someone, uh, someone like that. South American. Ah, uh, yeah. damn. The I mean, I don't know. So here's Brain Drill. I don't know if you could see it. So I can see it. But what's the first four? Uh, so so the Parasites EP, which is on here that Adam burnt, uh, is two thousand six, and then Apocalyptic Feasting, which is the album that he burnt, is two thousand eight. Uh, well, the year and I then said. <laughs> bo- Boundless Obscenity is the latest album, and that was 2016. Where, so where I don't they, know where this, are they from? Uh, California, which is kind of a, a brutal, fast place to be of that era, for sure, wouldn't you say? 
Because 2006, like that, well, that was funny. later than like Disgorge and stuff. Dude, I, I yeah, 100. Where's De- I, I, Deeds I, of Flesh? Is Texas though, right? Deeds of Flesh is uh, California, and that's 90s. They are. That's all 90s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late night. That's what I'm saying. This. So this band. So secondary. Music, I, I've said it in. Uh, remember, I was talking about first generation, second generation, third generation death metal. Remember, Braindale drill. But remember is. when we were talking about that? First yeah. Generation. So like for example, like Brain Drill. They they're just going by that. The 2008. I'll tell you that style of music where it was really fast, brittle, deeds of flesh, last days of humanity, you know, devourment, aborted, all that stuff. Right around 2005 is when I stopped caring more. Not, I, I still love all that shit, the bands I grew up on, but around 2005, like anything that was coming from there on, I'm just like, this shit just. I was like, I heard it. Like, I don't need another Discord California. Like, because there's a bunch of bands they were literally sounding just like that. I'm like, like. Yeah, I don't. I was like, I'm, I'm good with. Yeah, I don't really care. You know what I mean? So I probably missed out on shit because I'm not saying that's the right attitude to have. That's more of an old guy mentality, probably. Yeah. But right around 2005 up, if it was like brutal technical death metal, there's a very good chance I, I haven't heard it. Now I've listened to a couple here and there, and then I do like, but it's, they're few and far in between. It might be like so 2005 to 2021, like technical new death metal bands that like were new at that time from on. Might know like ten bands. Right. Because I just stopped, like, yeah, if it wasn't, I just stopped. Because even, like, bands like Deeds of Flesh and shit, when they were putting out an album in 2008, I'm like, this fucking sucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I like the, I love the first four, and I like the fifth album. And then the sixth album was okay, but kind of boring. I'm like, yeah, I think the sixth album was Reduced to Ashes. The fifth one's Mark of the Legion, and I do like that, but I'm, it's definitely not as good as the first four. And then Reduced to Ashes, I'm like, oh, this is kind of boring. And I remember everything after that, which was probably around that 07, 08, somewhere in there. I was like, I don't like this shit at all. Well, let's see if you like Brain Drill. Uh, we're on the third track while I was playing there silently uh, from the uh, 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 Apothesis, Apothesis, Antithesis, I think it was, from 2006. We'll play two tracks. That way we'll see if it's Yeah, because honestly, I, I, would, I would love to get into like a newer death metal band that's like over the top fast. Like, I'm like, fuck, this is great. Like, I would love to, like, well, yeah. let's give it its undisturbed nine seconds. That you love, yeah. Uh, I can tell you right now. I have to hear it a little bit more, but I can already hear a, a bunch of bands from that that late '90s, early 2000s that I could already hear in there. And that's probably like a band. Like again, I mean, I'm not judging nothing. I heard fucking nine seconds or whatever. Um, I heard, <laughs> pro- if if, if, uh, if, if, if geezer if geezer old guy uh, J Dog would have heard that in 2008, I'm like, oh, there's like already like five bands that immediately pop in my mind. And I'm like, this sounds like this. So I'm kind of like, I'll just listen to these bands. Well, you know what well, I mean? well, maybe, maybe not. Let's hear track two, then. Yeah, here's the track. Well, no, here's the next album. Here's the album. That was the, the EP. That, oh. This is from the album. First track from the album. Sounds like a drum machine, I can tell. Yeah, let me look that look look get back to those facts. Uh, I mean, it's, it's def- so it's back to the, those were the contenders of fastest band or fastest death metal. So I'll tell you what things I, heard, I could already tell you Reed Dog in the two tracks I heard. I I already heard some uh that was on the second track. That reminds me of uh Necrophagius when they first came out on Relapse, the really really technical stuff. Um I heard some a uh, little bit of cryptopsy in there, a little bit of suffocation. The, the, the uh, computer in nine seconds, you've heard all that. <laughs> that that's that style is a band, yeah. I mean, don't be wrong, I, all these bands I'm mentioning, yeah, I like Necrophage. The first Necrophage album was way over the top, it, it is kind of cool, but uh, after that, I'm like, this is getting carried away and fucking stupid. But uh, <laughs> fucking stupid. The, well, first album, I believe, was Onset to Putrefaction, I believe it's called. Uh, I don't like love it, but I remember when that came out, I was like, it was a little too technical for me, but I was like, I kind of like it because it's so different. Uh, but then a bunch of other bands are trying to do in that. You know what I mean? So like this band, like for example, the two nine seconds, I wouldn't judge them off that. But it's it already reminds me of a bunch of bands that like I grew up on and loved, and it's just like, you know, I mean, yeah, because like I said, like, and you know me, like growing up, like I, I listened to a lot of the brutal bands, right? Right. So it was like, and, and I still own all that shit, and like it's his day. So it was kind of like seven years in by the seventh it's like i kind of like i i kind of don't unless it's a band that really stands out song wise or sounds different like, i kind of don't need another band that sounds like this i was like this shit just all blurring together you know well then great because <laughs> uh this is something that i didn't think sounded like every thrash release or really every that that doesn't even sound anything of description towards this release and i'm talking about the reaper metal fucking release of hellraiser i never got I, yeah I see that sounds that, that that was a cool did you jam it i gave you a copy that of, was probably my favorite release you've done yeah 
Yeah. Oh. Well, shit. Then we'll find out yeah. what's... Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll play a track then, since you've heard it clearly, and uh, we got to admit to that. Fuck. Um, uh, the song I like the most on there, it's either the song before or the song that after that fucking John Carpenter thing. Yeah. It's right around there. Uh, what's it? Uh, what is Hellbound's it? the John Carpenter thing, so Slasher Within. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, I remember six, being right- seven. Let's see if this is the track that- uh, I remember being right around there. It was either one before or one after that I thought was a really, really good song. Yeah, it's a rager. Ooh. Fuck, it's my release, so we can just play this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, say, yeah. Well, that's the best, dude. I think it is a song. Yeah, it is a song. Yeah, yeah I thought great. this song was great, yeah. I thought this it's was like thrashing. I thought this was the best song on the album. It's got, I mean. No, I like the whole album, but that's my favorite song. No, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I know. You can, like, find highlights. You see, I like the chorus, you know what I mean? The, 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 I like the lingo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, then, even like. Like, cause that was one of the singles that Slash was in, or even yeah. like the artwork. The, yeah, the appearance of this is like really fucking cool. Um, yeah. But so Sal here, uh, it's like yeah. Yeah, like this part's sweet. Yeah. Like good. That guitar solo almost sounds somewhat like Treblinka, where it's like you know what I mean. It's got that. You know what I'm talking about? The, Tre- yeah. the Treblinka demos. But one of my uh, dude, one of my favorite songs is actually like that, like punk song one, "Seeing Red." Um, well, this had like whole album has numerous, kind of a punk attitude. Yeah, and it's got a lot of just different qualities. Yeah, like then there's it's like, almost like, like it's almost like a more metalized, less punk version and less death metal version of like like lurking corpses. Like it's kind of a bunch of shit thrown in the bag. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? So actually, this is the song that Sal sent me. That like when I heard this, I'm like, oh, this band's fucking great. Yeah, no, I like the album top to bottom. I've listened to it a few times. Do you, do you think there's a, like, when doing bands, like, releases, do you think there's a, a I think you're going to agree, is that there's a mold that, like, certain bands, like, if you do a CD, like, they got to have vinyl. Like, if they don't have vinyl, it's going to be kind of like, ah. And, like, because I, like, I remember putting this out, even Tommy Redefining was even, like agreeing and Sal wanted to do it and Sal were hoping to do it <laughs> was like what about a vinyl it's like we gotta start with the CD and it, and it kinda is like starting with the CD it's not a good enough start because <laughs> it seems like a vinyl band yeah no I mean well. I, I think in general like my, my thing especially with bands I'm really into I mean I always want a CD and an LP you know what I mean because you know you just collect this shit like baseball cards and yeah and, and I just look at my thing if I was in a band I wouldn't settle for just one form. I was like, I definitely wanted my stuff on an LP just for, because when I die, I want to say my stuff's on a vinyl record. You know what I mean? And when you die, you want to die uh, violently. Yeah, exactly. There's an atomized re- reference right there. Like the 15 year olds definitely don't know that. No, because that, I mean, shit, the atomized has been pretty much done for 15 years almost at yeah, this point. Yeah, uh, maybe not 15, but definitely 10, yeah. Oh, so then, getting ahead of ourselves. So, oh, plug so it. I gotta fastest, plug it though. Buy it because it's you, you need it. No, the fastest bands, and we only got two examples. That was it. Well, those were Adam's thoughts. Oh, okay. I Just thought going somebody back else. To a previous I thought somebody else. Made, oh, okay. I thought we somebody else. We already did a full episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. No, no, I agree. So I, didn't, the, know, I didn't know if people send the comments and shit. Like, oh, those guys are full of fucking shit. What about X, Y, and Z? You know what I mean? No, they're really not that. Un- uh, just off base. Yeah, they're it's, they're, they're pretty rational com- comments. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, uh-oh, I'm gone. Fuck. Yep. Technical difficulties? No, camera died. So, Ooh, uh... frozen a Skeletor. Skeletor. So, that's fine. We'll just wide-angle it. Don't need a close-up of that ugly mug. So, we talked about Blind Guardian when Athenar was down here, yep. and you never heard it. But somebody yep. did say in the comments... You said you are you said you're going to let me out of this. You never did. I did. You didn't fucking take it. I, I got camera shot of uh, lending it to well, you. no, but it wasn't like... Dude, I don't, I don't have like a I don't have like a doggy bag with me, so uh, I'm not going to hold it the whole time. Dude, you literally had a doggy bag that day, because uh, uh, fucking uh, evil speed... Uh, the um, goddamn... Um, headless eyes came in a doggy bag. I'll go grab that motherfucker if you need proof. It ah, had a doggy well, bag. So anyway, uh, one of the comments was, yeah, I would love to hear J-Dog listen to Blind Guardian because I would imagine maybe you'd like well, the speed metal it, stuff. Yeah, I'll put it on. I'll give my honest opinion, but you're only going to be able to play nine seconds of that or so because the uh, well, they definitely got that on YouTube. So let me set this up. <clears throat> so I'll give my most honest opinion in nine exactly. seconds. I don't think that's a fair, a, a I'll fair leave representation, you. but... Yeah, I'll leave you with that something. I'll put it in the fucking doggy bag, apparently, that you needed. But 
I went to then obviously yeah being honest to the the segment then yeah how are you gonna given you as you God, call damn, this back hurts from no fucking backrest Fuck. well, hey Patreon's not that lucrative <laughs> so I as you would say it though I went to then because they do have a pretty wide Cover scope looks of like changing dis- dissection. Yeah, well, this is a, the single for their, as you would put it, Hammer Smash Face. I would and, put it that and, way. And so their Hammer Smash Face is Mirror Mirror, or at least it was at some point. And that's the rare single, CD, si- CD like- single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, from Germany. I got it from my buddy in Germany years ago. Uh, in fact, that's how I got into Blind Guardian. So it'll be interesting. Oh, that was the first thing you heard was the single? Was Mirror Mirror. So were you, as a kid, were you buying it? Were you bummed out? You're like, Fuck, I didn't even out. buy it. Uh, I stole it? No, homeboy hooked it up. He Uh-oh. sent that to me. Uh, so, uh, no, I-, I thought it was. Well, we'll see what you think. It's in the middle of the song already. Oh, I've heard this. <laughs> this is reaction. Yeah, it sounds like. It reminds me, isn't that kind of like what later Halloween and shit sounds like that I said I probably should go back and listen to? I mean, maybe. I mean, why was that intriguing? It, um, you saw that that's not kind of like the, my general go to music, but I kind of enjoy stuff like that now that it's like, you know, still metal, but it's not like, it's like, you know, how many suffocations can you listen to? You know what I mean? Well, that, uh, and then so I, mean, I do like some of that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I would I would definitely be open to like, like now, 16 year old Justin, he'd be like, no way, just hand me the most brutal thing out there. Yeah. But now, uh, yeah, because I like, you know, yeah, because, well, then, honestly, too, even, like, talking about speed, like, they're, I mean, it's definitely the arguable, like, what what would you call, like, the, the early stuff, even this era, like, but, like, the Halloween stuff that you're kind of talking about is the first Blind Guardian album, like I said, on the Athenar video, mm-hmm. which would be the one I'll let you borrow, I guess, start start from the top, work your way up. Yeah. Um, because then, it, uh, but it, it got more of what would be known uh, to this day. I would say as power, that's as saying, like I, the epitome of power that's metal. What I would call that. That's, that's where that earlier metal, stuff yeah. more probably could have been arguably speed metal on its way to power metal, kind of like what the first Halloween is in yeah, a way. Yeah, Jericho. But like, dude, there is definitely freaking speed. <laughs> like it's you know fat tr- yeah. tremolo picking the whole time. Well, like I said, like for example, like, like Walls of Jericho. I love that record. Yeah, but then uh, what is it, what's the one at? Is it is it Keeper of the Seven Gates or Keys? Keys? Is that the second? Is that the? F- There's one and two I, of them. All yeah. I know about Halloween, in case somebody's listening, what a fucking poser! As I know the the twelve inch maxi, the first thing, and then Walls of Jericho. That's I lo- absolutely love those. And then I knew they got power metal, and then when I was just like, yeah, I'm not really a power metal guy, and like Pink Bubbles Gone Ape, I, I don't even heard that. I'm like, that can't be good. Yeah, um, but we talked name. about it with Don. I talked about it with Don. <laughs> I was like, that just flat out can't be good. But, like, Keeper of the Seven Keys and shit like that, part one, part two, um, we sold them over the years, and I know it's popular. I was like, there's there's, uh, there's a very good chance I might like it. I just, I literally never gave it a chance. You know what I mean? There's but a I'd be going to it. If somebody handed me a disc, I would definitely, or I'll check it. If people, you can check it on YouTube, and I, can, I just forget. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if, like, someone sent me a text that day, check out Halloween today, I, I would. I just, I just, literally, I just forget. So did Kevin send you a text saying, check out the new Grave Worm? He doesn't text me ever. Okay. <laughs> and he certainly probably didn't hand you a copy. No, the last time he texted me is when I got married. He said, well, cool. He handed you a copy today. Uh, Funeral Rites is the latest Grave Worm, but knowing Kevin, because he sent me this package a while ago, and I listened to this di- disc a while ago, and been mean the featured on the show is he's probably already got a new album, so this might not be no, the latest. No, everything he's done, honestly, when I put it on a newer, I'm like, okay, another worm. I usually enjoy the riffs. I usually think there's some catchy, cool shit always on there. You know what I mean? Because he has given me discs in the past. I mean, like, but it's been it's last time he did it was at a show. I think it might have been like Dark Funeral or something. We're standing outside. He did give me a disc, but that was like two, three years ago. Yeah. So nothing within recent time. I wasn't trying to say he had to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't owe me. He doesn't owe me nothing. But uh, no, everything I've listened to, I've, I've, you know, I was like, well, he hooked this up. So let's well, let's see. Let, let's see if he retains. We'll, we'll we'll go to track two in case it's got yeah, the, in case it's got the intro. Get that. the gates. It call it is called the gate of darkness. Could be a, that. That sounds like intro to me. Yeah. Go track three. Sorry, Kim. Well, let's just start off because I want to, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of like, I think that's kind of more of like a build-up song. Like, you're not going to play the whole thing because you never do. It's nine seconds. Well, that's I mean. See, I like shit like that. 
You know, yeah, I, like I like that. You know what I mean? Well, I like the fact that it, yeah, it has uh, it's retaining the real drums because uh, obviously the Kanye. But album. You know me, like I mean, the thing as far as people talking about, they're not they do not um, they don't know Grave Worm or whatever. I think the first album uh, they know uh, the other one. The uh, what's that? This is the one that pro- spells it properly. Oh, I don't Worm. even know. I don't even know that shit. Uh, yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, the 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 D U R. I mean, the W U R. I'm one. Um, that's Kevin. So. The first album, yeah, Ancient Storms of War. I think that fucking album is great. Absolutely great. Well, I listened to this whole album, Funeral Rites, and I thought it was great. It was the, I actually, because I, I have too? heard. Yeah, I, I, this was solid. This was, because uh, it was a good. So this is the like, latest really and greatest? Good, like, how, uh, how, long ago did he, how long ago did he give you this? A while. Months. Yeah, so, because look, because yeah, he probably here, doesn't have enough. He says recorded August 2019. Right. That's two years. He's totally recorded something else. Yeah, since then. oh, I know. Because I know how he is. He's just sitting around recording well, all the time. And I'm, doing, like that. and I'm doing him due justice, though. He sent it in. I want to play the fucking thing and give it the time of day. Um. So, but, uh, so this I, is mine? Yeah, yeah. Put in your doggy Sweet. bag and don't forget it. No, I will 100% listen. I will right. 100% listen. That's why yeah. I'm sending it, because uh, he said. Hey, no, I, 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 own, I, I own a handful of Grave Worm discs. And like I said, I have the Ancient Storms of War LP. Love that. And uh, I have a couple seven inches. Like, the War B seven inch and shit. I'm like, eh, didn't really like that so much. And um, but uh, no, but I got a handful of this and uh, you well, know. And then our next, our, our last thing, because that was five bands. So we need one, one more nine second clip. Uh, you brought that one in. Did I? You got the latest and the greatest. Yeah, this is the Hell's Headbangers release. Oh, well, it's vinyl. Yeah, we can do that. Well, actually, I brought two releases. Oh, well, so, then we'll make it seven nine seconds. Yeah. Fuck it. So we just got these in. This was a um, this is a. Uh, Seven inch band. Let me open this up and show you. I thought the seven inch was really good. Sacrifiction. Oh, Death uh, Rashman. Is band? that a this dude guy's from uh, Nocturnal? Daniel? Cr- well, Cruel Force. Uh, I th- uh, is it Daniel? Yeah, well, they have Avenger. The, they have Avenger on drums. Yeah, that's Dan- that's Daniel. Yeah. Let me see the picture again. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, but uh, th- it's like a death thrash band. There's only a hundred on. Re- I believe it's a hundred copies on red. So you better want if you guys want a red yeah, vinyl. That's it. Um, uh, Cause well, I got I got a shout out for the 15 year olds out there that that listen to Hellcat. They don't. They sure as fuck don't remember that episode. I interviewed them. You Daniel know, from Nocturnal. Oh, yeah. You, oh, I don't remember that. Because remember Nocturnal. Dude, the like, Nocturnal. I mean, uh, the they thra- were doing the, a bunch the, of stuff the, at the, the time. Yeah, remember? dude, the thrash with the devil 12 inch maxi and their first like couple seven inches. Dude, I fucking love that shit. Well, and sweet because. Uh, Reap Dog didn't know about this. I didn't even know Dude, what he was doing. Like, I thought that seven was great. It's like Death Thrash. Um, those just came in this week. I thought, yeah, I thought that was great. Well, so the, put that on. The, this might be my copy then. <laughs> that's my copy. Don't put I, the fingerprints on. We're, oh. we're low on red. I want to make oh, sure I get oh, my oh, oh, Yeah, like I'm keep like that's that's going on my rack. Oh, and I'll, I'm not I'll, talking I'll, about I'm not talking about tits either. <laughs> well, I was gonna say leave it here. I'll buy it. it, it but but, yeah. but, but I don't know if we have any red. Like I know we're low. So that's why I said like I was, I was like I'll be pissed if I miss out on a red vinyl like because we did I think there's 400 black and 100 reds, and I know the reds are almost gone. Do you know? I, so I, I really want haven't that. been paying attention to the mailers enough. I apparently no, it literally just came in this week. Like this week, it just came in. Like it's brand new. So and uh, but we'll I'll play yeah. it on the right speed too for those folks. Wondering. I think it's 33. I'm pretty sure. Is it 33 yeah, or 45? It's, it was, it no, it's well, it's it's one of those seven inches that do the way it's, it fucking should be, and it labels that shit. Yeah, but what does you it know. say? I don't remember what. No, speed. it does. I'm saying the label says 33. Okay, yeah, yeah. But I, that, I, I was, I was giving it credit. Well, well then, no, I know because it doesn't say. Well, it, great. We don't see that's this is the way six nine seconds should we? We don't have to worry about that intro shit. We can just put it right there in the middle. Yeah. See, so here we go. Pretty raw sounding. I actually want to hear more. Now I see how how uh, aggravating this segment can be if you never heard this shit. Like I want to hear more. There you go. Trying to get the dynamic. Yeah. No, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, cool. That's... So I don't know if they're gonna be doing you know a bunch of other shit or you know with us or what, but. Uh... Hopefully. I don't know. No one. It seems like Daniel's got a lot of. Uh, That's what I'm saying. He's got a pro- so who man. knows? You know, is it gonna be just a mini project for him? Or is he gonna do you know a couple full lengths? Who knows? But then I brought down an LP too that I thought was fucking great. Yeah, let's hear that. So uh, let me show this off while you're unwrapping that, unless you already what did you mean unwrapping. It's just pull out a fucking sleeve. Well, pull out of the sleeve. So this is um, Kernergia. Full length, and this on, was uh, sacri- sacri- sacrifiction. sacrifiction. Yeah. So um. We just got these in like two weeks ago. So this is an Ohio, a band from Ohio, Cleveland. Cleveland, yeah. And look at these. Look or at maybe these. it is safe to say Ohio because they are kind of spread out. I thought. Yeah. Who like knows? who's on drums on that? 
Dora. Oh, well, maybe it is Cleveland. Then. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, Kyle from Hink no, Um Look at these slick-ass-looking color vinyl, too. Yeah. So um, this is just, I just thought was great death metal. And uh, so we didn't do the CD release. I forget what label did the CD. Maybe Memento Mori or something like that. Let me, let me see the cover when you get there. Um but when anyway, and uh, Paul emailed us and said, "Will we do the vi vinyl of it?" I, and I was all for Paul it because, Gorfain from the band. Yeah, because I was like, I, I fucking, I, I loved. It. I was like, I would love to. And uh, so it, it, you know. Oh, I didn't. Oh yeah, Brian Bergeron's in that. See, yep. so uh, we got a local. He lives out here. Yeah, Cuyahoga Falls. But Brian orders from us like all the time too. Like not, you know what I mean? Like he, yeah. But what well, I'm saying is a lot of these guys in bands. I listen to death metal. No, you know. Brian listens to death metal. Correct. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. A lot of these guys don't. I haven't been over his house. I've seen pictures, like, like a post of his collection. Through, I don't Poster? know how, but maybe on the internet or some sort, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, he's got So if you like 90s shit. death metal like I do, that which is my preferred and favorite genre to this day, always has been, always will be, Um, I recommend this record. And you can hear and whatever, can hear whatever seconds Reap Dog gives you, because it ain't much. Well, you know, yeah. that, 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 you, you shouldn't have to hear it. You, just, you already heard it. You do a setup like that. What else do you need to hear? I'm going to put it on side B, though. That way there's no intros. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, I thought it was a great record, and uh, I highly recommend picking it up. And I would tell you if I didn't like it. I don't just tell you that because we put it out. If I didn't like it, I'd tell you. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Nine seconds of it. Do a little bit of the range there. Keep the excitement going, though. See, that sounds like death metal, right? Yeah, exactly. That's why all you need is nine seconds. You should be so freaking just excited through that and know that, that that's solid enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when people say, hey, what's a new, like, band? or Because, like, old man J-Dog, you know what I mean? Like, what's a new record or new band you like? Well, here's one for you. God damn it, because people are always asking me. Well, and hey, and if you're one of those people that are asking, why the fuck is it only nine seconds? Because I didn't make the rules. God damn it, it's just YouTube. Bullshit. YouTube sucks. There's yeah. the answer. That's why. Previously, we got some cool shit. And uh, that was one of the packages from Adam that had the... Um, the content, the contestants. But there's more to be had, and that is. What's that? So I'm pretty sure. I don't know if this is the Eric Hoffman, but it says Eric Hoffman on it, and he sent few times. He sent some stuff. So Thrashback Records, um, like the Hoffman brothers. I right. Have, so I have Eric. A hard so time believing that. Well, there you go. From Florida, all this death metal stuff. Um. So then. This is like the second time, so we got in uh, uh, Psychic Pain or Psychic Pawn, uh, and the release is Eulogy, the complete anthology. 1994's uh, what appears oh, to be this disc is one like the This is good year shit, Well, that's bro. what I'm saying. So, like, I, so uh, who's ever at Thrashback Records? Are you the Eric Hoffman from DSI? <laughs> I mean, right? I mean, it's, it's it could be. Florida death metal shit. Like, I don't know. It didn't, like, you didn't include, whoever sent it didn't include a letter. Just sent, like sent in packages, so keeping the mystique. Oh, they did this because yeah, we got these in the stock. The lovely creation, um, double disc demo disc, and that was fucking great. Highly recommend getting that. Oh yeah, they, they did the atrophy too. And, yeah, we got those. Oh, a lot of shit. The, yeah, that's I mean, they do a lot of good shit. We, we got a lot of this. Actually, it's funny. A lot of these releases I picked up, but I did not know about this. And this the, shit, this is right up my alley of stuff I like. Well, there you go. Put that in the doggy bag. I will. Cool shit. Ninety one what... and ninety two demo, almost guaranteed. I like that. Yeah, and uh, and thank you previously too, because thra like I said, Thrashback Records. This is the second time. Remember when I brought that band that looked like the dude from uh, uh, or Impure Earth from uh, Black Witchery? It was called Fatal Sin. That was yes. another Thrashback Records release. Uh, there was a bunch of stuff to Thrashback Records, and we played some of it throughout. So, uh, yeah, Thrashback Records. Where's that fly? Throw, show that shit on the th screen there. No, he's got lots of good, dude. I can show you right what I'm now. saying. Put it on the screen. So this Atrophy disc is good. That that demo's great. Chemical Dependency. Yeah. And then uh, this Caligula, I didn't know who they were until this. That that was fucking awesome. Uh, the Beloved Creation, you gotta have that, dude. If you don't listen to Beloved Creation, just get the fuck off my show. So line. That, and then that's like that seems to be the hand picked uh, side, and then the releases are on the other side. What do you mean? Hand oh, this is hand picked store. 
So I'm assuming like, I'm because I think oh, Vic, so you probably put that shit out. I think Vic Rick, well, but it, you know, yeah, stocking the shitty that they, they like and that goes hand in hand with it. But the betrayed, uh, why does that sound familiar? I don't know. Show it off that way. The guy that's sitting there, like, it sounds familiar to me too. I want to know what that shit looks like. Uh, that, either way, that we definitely got, looks up my alley. The psychic, like, and the ver- and he's got a various RSS. So the psychic, psychic pawn I haven't heard, and the betrayed uh, that looks familiar, but uh. He says he only did 250 units on it, too. Oh, it says, for fans of Testaments, S- Exodus, Forbidden, and Overkill. So that's a 50-50 shot, I might, might like. Yeah. Yeah? I would certainly listen to it. Well, there you go. And anybody else that wants to listen to it, Thrashback Records. And thank you for the packages. But sec- but mostly, now the new one there. J-Dog will definitely be jamming it. Jamming and if it's good enough, then, then I guess I'll be jamming it and then having to buy one because... Is that an open box? So we brought we brought up Adam, and he sent stuff, obviously. And there, here we go. So going to it nicely enough is there's a convenient list of what's in here because I would at least like to read Adam's letter for those nice and typed out and printed exactly. out exactly. Hey Reaper and I Dog. Greetings from Connecticut. He's even got the eye dog in there. The people are using that. That's a, a lot. fucking fan right there. Yeah. Um, greetings from Connecticut. Thank you both for the awesome content over the years. I can honestly say I have now I now have over 100 new bands in my repertoire, thanks to bands mentioned on or played on Hellcast, including bands in the Reaper Metal Shit, family. So he checks out like everything that we talk about. He's probably like band they talk about. Let me check it out. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, nine seconds is good enough. Oh. Um. And uh, cool shit is always appreciated. I have, again, sent you guys cool shit. See, Adam sends uh, his many things. Um, I included sheets for both Reaper and iDog, including what I sent and some fun facts. So if you go right down there, J-Dog, off the bottom shelf there, you will see four iDog. Those are yours, so you can start looking at that. They're, um, they're bubble wrapped and all. Yeah, so do you still have, do you have that razor handy? I think I do. I figured. I, I thought there Holy was. Holy shit! It's a stack of discs. Yeah. See, look at that. See, god damn. God, kind of feel like a. Yeah. Hook him up next. <laughs> um, yeah. I, so there's did, that. Did I meet Adam? I don't know. I, it, I. You probably at this point, but potentially more than me. Uh, these last years, I've been a fucking. Uh, well, I don't know what the hell you guys call me. Oh, uh, Adam, put in the comments. Have you ever met me? Um. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah, no, I don't. Cause, you know, well, I, so J Dog, yeah. if you don't like anything, feel free to give them away. If you do, keep them and feel free to use them on a six nine seconds. Well, there you go. You'll have to help me since you admittedly don't do shit for the show. You'll have to let me know if anything's good to include. Hey, I um, made the drive. That was good enough. I also included some shirts, Hellcast themed bumper stickers, a thank you drawing from my wife, and two albums that are choices for the fastest death metals, as we heard earlier. Um, and I get a Black Dahlia Murder EP. Uh, I actually, Adam, I, you, you're assuming I don't like them. My camera's dead. I can't look. Fuck. Ah, uh, you assume that I don't like them, but actually, it sounded pretty good. I, I, I just assumed I wouldn't. I assumed I wouldn't like. I them. can tell you right now. So, like other things, I'm looking at. Uh, so he's got these C's burn, uh, gore rotted. Yeah, the mutilated in minutes. I'm actually a huge fan of that fucking record. Eh, 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 eh. Don't forget this one. Shit. And then, uh, well, so what did you get? I already teased. So they sent me a burn disc, like a lot of shit to check out. Um, or you could use this. The, the Iron Reagan Municipal Waste Plate. I like that as well. There you go. That's the take that with you too. That goes in the grab bag. Oh, so or, this is a your, cheat sheet. So I don't have to go through your yeah, cheat so not, sheet. Well, that way, too, you, you can read up on it. He said he sent dude, a I'm literally going to need a bag now or a box or something. No, dude, you see, you made the drive. Figured we would send you home on empty-handed. He's gotten there the cattle decapitation. Remember I said I don't know too well because I'm pretty sure I've seen him live, but you know he's ha- having a beer talking to people. Yeah. So I guess I'll get this, I'll uh, finally listen to him on, uh, on disc. Yeah, and I fucked that up, too. I played it with um, Eddie here instead of you um, when Adam sent in those downloads. But anyway, let's show off the uh, art that his wife did because it? I guess you can't see. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, totally. Um, so, Layla, I guess, would be Adam's wife because uh, that's his screen name. She drew, Layla, up, stu- La- she drew La- up this stuff for those two fucking knuckleheads. So how did about they get, that? Did they think any ladies would even care about the show? Well, well, right. other, than, other than Jacqueline and... Uh, well, as a thank you, so maybe we... Uh, Who's the other girl that we Maybe got? we keep Adam away from Meredith? her. She's like, you don't have to, I don't have to deal with this guy. <laughs> he can nerd does out. Ghoul, does Ghoulie still listen? 
I don't know. Gooley, do you still listen? Hopefully. <laughs> um, so, well, thank you, Adam and Layla. And uh, this is the time to reveal that behind these walls will be, or on these walls, rather, will be more shit like we always had on there. And this time I wanted to theme it with purpose rather than going around Hell's Headbangers like we did the first time and just taking shit off the walls and sticking it on the walls and then kind of theme it through stuff that makes the show. And this is one of the things caught in the act. Making the show is a, a, a cool drawing like that from a fan as a thank you. So that's going on the wall. Yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to all this. I mean, uh, you're going to need that razor handy too because there's stickers. Yeah, well, I got to get your sticker shit. collection too. <laughs> I do have a lot get of the, stickers actually. The, the, you know what I'm talking about? I do. <laughs> all this metal and the guy only cares about stickers. <laughs> your your, remember your buddy? Yep, yep. I like Woody. Why well, was he not my buddy? <laughs> no, I, I know, but that's he called me your buddy just because you met him for the first time and had a conversation with him for like two minutes. That's like I said, it makes me sad. So, uh, and, and then the shirts are inside here. So, uh, shirts and, and, too? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Uh, luckily for Adam, he asked my son. Dude, he's so, <laughs> dude you're laughing dude, about dude, shit dude, too. Dude, he's used a line. Now, that's fucking great. Oh, because he, that, he made those are the bumper stickers. Yeah. He made those. I forgot more metal than you. <laughs> Oh shit! That's what I'm saying. Those are that, that's dude, what he, he totally made. watches. Oh fuck yeah! So dude, that, I told, that's technically dude. I totally said that to a chip. Remember, I told you that story. Yeah, like 100. percent Like just like Eric. Uh, they don't remember because they don't. They, they, oh they shit, dude. dude! They're just like, that's just like, great. I, I but I would have. I I mean I I forgot about that line because you know. So it was that Cannibal Corpse, Napalm Death, and Immolation. Fantastic fucking show, by the way. I was on the Torture Tour, and god damn, that was probably the best Cannibal set list I've ever seen. And uh, we were vending at that. We just got the homeboy hookup. We were a lot of vend. Lit Glary, cool guy at the Agora. Hope, hope you're still around, Larry. Cool, really cool guy. <laughs> and uh, he let us, you know, vend there. It was at uh, Peabody's. And uh, so we were kind of like in the center or whatever, vending at the Cannibal Napalm, we got, you know, could see thing. And there was some chick, like, I was, you know, putting shit on there. And I don't know why I cut my, I guess, the short hair or whatever. Maybe she didn't like the dude, didn't like the mug. I don't know. So, yeah, you don't, you don't really look like you'd be in the metal. I was like, shit, I've forgotten more metal than you know. <laughs> 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 you know, so that's, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I remember Erica Chase was standing there, they're chuckling. <laughs> so she, I don't, even, dude, I think she was just shell shocked, like, didn't even know what to say to that. Is it, are those all the stickers? Yeah, dude, you're gonna, there's more than one. So, yeah, slap it on the bumper. Oh, and you love them. Jeez, so, did you, you ever say that on the show that you, you put bumper stickers on your car? No, but I got them. Yeah, I'm, like, you, you got a, like, a brand new car. Like, you'll do that 20, 20, 20, 20, 21, Brian. And you stick the, <laughs> the stick the stickers on. I've got it. Well, I've, there you go. You can put it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, you, you admittedly said that the drive's the only thing uh, wor or that you did the drive that's good enough, but at least do Adam a solid when you stick the, suck the sucker on there. Take a picture of it so we can send it to I him. will do. <laughs> uh, but will. that's fucking cool. Like, I didn't know I was going to be Well, that. it's just funny that he, like, even, like, picks up on the lingo. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I was expecting it was going to be, like, a Hellcast logo or something, like, yeah. not, like, I mean, we should print if, if hell. So, if folks at home, if you want Hellcast merch like this, oh. I mean, because that's a fucking great bumper sticker. Like, because people with that like stickers and shit on their cars do like smart ass slogans and stuff. So that yeah. is, and that is great. Smart ass, yeah. yeah. Um. Well, and Adam didn't Look forget your that. size, so make sure that that fits. No whoopy wimpy ass larges, three X. <laughs> so Stop what it. large is wimpy? That's yeah. That's your. So then, so paying attention to detail. Uh, Adam had to inquire about my size. Yeah, and you're like a size small. Well, that's what he's saying. He's like, is a medium okay? It's like, that'll do. <laughs> it'll, it'll be swimming on him, but it'll do. <laughs> so, Tox call calls? Yeah. With the ultimate warrior, who I was, grew up as a huge fan of. So in ways, I would be too, because... I mean, well, fuck I don't know, I, Just kind of like... You, well, you know I mean? As kids, like wrestling was your thing, but it wasn't like we didn't... You well, know, I was like, hell, I have, a, I have a signed photo biome in my wall. I have a, uh, I have a shaker cup, you know, um, and, you know, I talked to the guy on the phone for an hour, you know, so I was a you know, pretty big fan. He was definitely had an inspiration on me, you know what I mean? And now he's dead. Now he's dead. Dude, most of the people I like or care about are fucking dead. There's our episode. <laughs> Everybody, or there you, well, that's actually a typo negative song. Everybody I love is dead. Yeah. So yours is everybody. Well, it's funny, I care you know, usually the people that I like or I find cool that I actually want to talk to, text or whatever, they usually don't want to talk to me. Well, yeah, shit. <laughs> but the assholes I don't like, they want to like always talk to me. You know, he says, "Oh fuck, that's great." Yeah, some but, girl <laughs> shot her down. Um, and then thank you, Adam, for the Reaper CDs. I'll go through those, and then, like you said, six nine seconds worthy. Then they'll be featured. Since I'm the guy, that, <laughs> as, as J Doc said, I do yeah, it. That was, I, a, I uh, it that was a very nice gift of you, Adam. 
I appreciate that. Yeah, that was fucking sweet. Did you uh, even think, think anyone even like remembered my first name? And fuck, he knows my nickname. Nickname on top, your lines. On, top, on top of the nickname. <laughs> so he's probably, it's just funny, like, no one now knew what I know, like, just kind of putting the kids. He's probably laughing his ass off at the guy that called. Why the guy called me? Oh, because he misspelled, but he's calling me an idiot or something. Is that how it went down? Yeah, it was like the, the Christian point. guy. Like, yeah, I yeah, saying I was an attack on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but so, but, but like. But it was so not to even mention. Like, because I not even like, it's like, not even like we made it up as a guy that misspelled that's like <laughs> making fun of me, I guess, or he was upset yeah. at me or whatever the fuck. I don't remember. It was a few years ago, but yeah, but so, like, he, he actually knows the reference. Like, because is, is I right next to Jay on the keyboard? I don't well, even then, remember. Is that then, what it was? Uh, I'm looking at one right now. No, it's like above it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what a fucking fucked hard. Yeah, let's see. You can see. So, for anybody that needed proof. But, but just uh, a sheer idea. Wasn't he like he's calling me an idiot? But yeah, pretty he can't, much, even, yeah. Talk, he can't yeah, even spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is but like then, great. and then, then this smart ass, your, your, your heart credit, I like, sometimes it'll be J Dog. Sometimes I'll fuck, I'll change it. Yeah. But then, then I like just save that and like I have my templates. So like I don't all like sometimes the way I work is not always organized. So I accidentally saved the template with iDog. So like I didn't realize for the longest time there's like more videos I ever intended with iDog on there. Oh, really? So it could be but go <laughs> back no, and some watch some like dude, it's like almost like every video within the last two some years. Some people put that in special instructions too, like when they place an order <laughs> iDog. IDog. Like I didn't think it was that funny. <laughs> but well, I, I actually think it's kind of funny like a bet just because of the sheer like you don't you don't Dude, you don't literally insult someone's intelligence and then can't fucking type. Like, I know, but just, like just the fact that it even went on the instructions, oh. fucking bumper stickers, <laughs> yeah. the names, me, yeah. and then and then like I fuck it up and it just so happens to be that joke keeps yeah. going on. So remember Todd Mitchell? Todd Mitchell. Why do I know that name? Yeah, you met him, Ron Maiden's friend. Oh yeah, yeah, I met Todd. And we talked I about Todd. At, I think I met him at Maryland. Well, so Todd sent in some cool shit as well. He sent in a lot of cool shit because and. Uh, See, really I'll, I'll, that maybe I could use that box, Reap, to take. That's gonna be my doggy bag. There you go. Be a, yeah. Um, which, uh, by the way, Todd, thank you so much too, because I've been holding on to this forever. But you wrote on there to to open it on the show, so I was waiting for that opportunity. Did you? Uh, what do you mean forever? Like a year ago? No, but uh, months. So he's probably thinking, what a bunch of fucking knobs. May. I've written him letters. Oh, okay. Um, so. First item up for grabs is another fucking attention to detail here on the channel is posting those old ass fucking uh, VHS shows. You know, you find out cool you still shit posting about. those. Yeah, and they're gonna post a lot more. So you got too. more that you're doing. Got okay, more cool. than doing. So you can add it to collection. Got well, more who, than but doing. Who's on there? And that's what I'm saying. So we got freaking read it off. Oh shit, this is really good. Autopsy Buffalo, New York, in 1990. Death Tampa, Florida, 91. Entombed Orlando, 92. And Sam Hill, 93. That's like all classic shit, right? Todd knows what the fuck's up. Yeah. So then, shit, we get. So there you go. People on the channel will get to enjoy that. I'll upload it then. So, so thank you, Todd. Spreading the wealth there on that one. Yeah. Um. I right, so now I, I, I got see the tape. An player. Awesome six feet under album in there. Didn't I tell you? Don't like the first six feet. You don't know what's up. So Todd knew. What, what did Todd dude, know? This is a fucking Does Todd know what's up, or does he know what's not up? Oh, do you think it sucked? It got rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 was I, was dude, I love this record. <laughs> do you need another copy? I mean, I own it. I mean, also, I was gonna say I, I own it too. I got the vinyl. I mean, I, I can have a car copy. Okay. I mean, I, I, dude, I have the LP. As a matter of fact, supposedly, if anybody has, and if they, if anyone wants to send iDog a Christmas present, I'd really appreciate it. Is uh, I'm just hooked it the fuck up. That's not Christmas no, enough. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. What I'm saying is, if like they came with mine, because I so I, I have the CD right. I bought the LP that came out a few years ago. That, uh, uh, Metal yeah, Vintage. yeah. But also, supposedly, I seen two dickheads on eBay list a picture disc. Right, it says tw haunted picture disc, like an original or like no, like that came out with the yeah, what I thought it did. So, but here's the thing. So they don't really show the they just show the cover like normal. Like so, I order it says picture disc. What do I get? Another LP. I was oh. like, I already have the LP. So yeah. like, the picture does not exist. Because i never seen an actual circular, like someone take a photo with themselves. So if anybody has a, a six feet under haunted picture disc, I'll, I'll, I'll even buy it off you. Like, I, I really do want a picture disc of that. Like, I don't own the picture. So I own the, uh, the CD and the 12-inch LP. And uh, But I would, buy, I would buy a picture disc or very much like one. So if anyone knows, because, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of that record. It's a badass album right there. That is a badass album You know album what else right is there. badass? What's coming up in this fucking package? Do this one. Epitigo faceless tape. Oh, that's fucking great EP. Fantastic EP. 
Yeah, is that on the bonus stuff for the reissues or anything? Because yeah. like I don't know if I know it. Yeah, because like, you you're do. more of the, like the bigger fan. Yeah, the, the faces. I believe that's on the. Uh, I'm pretty sure we put that as bonus at the uh, double LP of the Ultimo Mono Cannibali. I'm pretty sure that's on there as bonus. Uh, but there was a CD that came out of it too, on its own, and but still uh, have the tape like the original. Like yeah, yeah, it's no, cool they, as fuck. And it's the different art too. That's like, yeah, that's yeah. Like, no, yeah. I mean, dude, all that Empatago shit. I mean, I, I loved all that. The only thing I didn't like by Empatago oh, yeah, is this, the, and that's Wild Rags too. I forgot about that. Yeah, the only thing I didn't like by Empatago because it was just it was just so childish and stuff like that was the first demo. All we need is cheese. It was a live demo, and it was just kind of like like it was almost like they didn't even have their song together yet. Yeah. I mean, it's cool to listen to because it's live and talk about songs. But that's the only thing I'm like I wouldn't like listen to on a regular basis. As a matter of fact, I just listened to the first album uh, just this week in the shop. Like I, I listened to like Empatago like. Like I, I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and say I listen to them every week at week on end, but I listen to them very regularly. Dude, this is like it's such so well kept that it's like brand new. You yeah, know? this is fucking like it almost great, w- yeah. like you almost are full. But like I said, this repressed. this artwork, what's really cool, Reap, is this is different than the CD release that came yeah, out. Yeah, like, yeah, totally. I've never even seen that. Yeah, so that's um the picture I've seen. Yeah, this but is, that's um, cool as fuck. I mean, honestly, like you know, even the VHS tapes so awesome attention again uh, on Todd's part now this time to detail because like. You know, we got the channel, we got the video and shit, and we do this kind of thing, so, like, to show that off to people, too, like, it's just fucking cool that we can even hold that in the flesh, you yeah. know, and show that. Um, So, let's keep let's keep going. There's so, more. I saw an LP in there, but I don't... I, I, dude, I, I'll finally get to listen to Master's Hammer. Oh, I've never, never really listened to them. You know what? I'm not as... Uh, I mean, I definitely have listened to them, and I, it's one of those bands where I don't, like, know it. Like, if, right. like, uh, it's, like I, I've heard it, and I'm kind of like, I, like, I don't, like, have, like... I, I yeah. did listen to him. I take that back. I lost. I listened to like. Th- didn't they have like a comeback album like two years ago? I think and like so. Hell's got a shit ton of LPs and like they just like I, gone in like yeah, an hour. I, I think so. Um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. I but every heard time, that. as a matter of fact, we just got to restock a Master's Hammer of. Uh, I forget which release. Uh, and it was CDs and LPs or CDs, but yeah, but they they sell really quick every time. Yeah. Yeah. So apparently they don't suck, and it's been something that I, at least I should listen to. Yeah, um, yeah that's, so why, that's, why I know I, that's why I know I have, because when I see stuff like that, I mean, especially bands of the uh, of the glorious times or whatever you want to say, yeah, uh, the glorious days, uh, I, I always want to make sure I at least, even if I'm not a fan of it, I want to say that I've heard it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, uh, like, who's a band that you know I like, that that's a, that, that's a real respectable band, but you know J-Dog doesn't really like? I don't know. Uh, you can think of somebody. Blind right? Guardian. <laughs> no, but let's say like in the 90s, know. 80s, death, you know what I mean? That's really in my realm. Oh, uh, um, not somebody. coming off the top of my head, um, but that most people would like because there's totally bands. Um, yeah, there totally are. But but I mean, I want like I would never say like like I, I was like yeah I, I gotta say at least, you know I've heard them like I know it like it's kind of like almost like as stupid as it sounds it's kind of like you like yeah. There's an example I just can't think of one yeah but there's like there's stuff of the like well as Blind Guardian wouldn't like you didn't say they sucked and and or anything you said you didn't hear them. So like, there's bands of that still like yeah you haven't heard of caliber that I don't know that are like Blind Guardians. So, but let's Something find. Pop in my mind. Once I do leave. you want to find out what the LP is? You've been. I, asking? I saw one jiggling around in there. I didn't see what it was though. Oh, the uh, the Desultory comeback record. Is that the yeah. first one or the second one? This is the first. Er, so I knew they, they did. T- this is the second one. This is the, so this is the the come we're, we're we're done record. We're done record. Yeah, they said they were done after like because they did those two comeback records. They did Counting Our Scars, which is not that clearly. That's what what album's that? Oh, that's on color vine too, which is what I oh, prefer. Oh fuck yeah! What a what a what what is that album called again? I I, I forgot. Uh, I didn't scars see of it. Eons or uh, no that uh, uh three aching eons three aching eons. What's the other scars? Uh, counting our scars. Yeah. So those are the two comeback rock records, but that one's the we're done. They said they were done after that one. That's that's respectable to do that. Yeah, because yeah, I don't bunch, I don't think like guys in the back. Well, because I don't think like Hawk and uh, the brother. I don't think the one brother the. the Bass player to the vocalist uh, Klaus, Klaus. I don't know he's Swedish, so I don't think it's Klaus. I think it's Klaus. I, don't, I fucking don't know their names, but yeah. the, the the brothers in the band. If you're a fan, <laughs> Desultory folks. If you don't know them, it's a badass album right there. Especially the first up. I, I, I even like the Forbidden album of uh, Swallow the Snake. I got it. Yeah, remember. I don't even like the, that. Or the Grunt. Uh, I mean, Forbidden, I, people I mean some people might not like, uh, especially the really old heads. They might not like Bitterness because even that's different. But I love that record. Yeah. Uh, the second one. Um, but yeah, I don't like. I don't like. Swole that was the thing. first one I heard. Yeah, no, but uh, in no, I, I don't think Swole. I could see as someone like enjoying it, but as from a death metal perspective, I was like, no, yeah, I don't, exactly, I don't, exactly. I don't like but I like everything other things. So, so Todd, you're paying attention. So I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, um, and then, la- and then, then last but not least, 
Is that from Todd too, or is that something about else? To say, this might, might have I can't to, see it. Like well, we might have to fight over this one, and we, I guess you're getting it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, sweet. So let's have the original uh, actual demo. Show it. So Of what? We didn't reveal. I just oh, put it Vader, up there. Vader Morbid Reich demo. Fuck yeah, Carnage. So do this the same. Well, uh, that that Magnus. Uh, I'm gonna go grab the Magnus. This is the about photo that. that's in. Um, so this photo here. This is what they use in the Reborn and Chaos too. CD. And ironically enough, my first introduction introductory to Vader, and it wasn't intentional. It's just what I bought as a kid. It was the uh, Reborn and Chaos uh, CD, which is both demos. Uh, this demo and the other one uh, on CD, and that was my favorite shit to this day because that's what I heard first. Yeah. And then uh, my second thing I heard was Black to the Blind. And I literally at first didn't like it. My main thing was because I didn't like it. I was like, the vocals are totally different than the demo. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, so it, it actually took a few listens to grow on me. I was like, oh, uh, you know, I, I like it now. And, uh, but, uh, yeah, ironically enough, because, I mean, I didn't hear it when it came out, the uh, demos in the 80s. I mean, I was fucking just a few years old. Um, just ironically enough, it wasn't an album that I heard first, or like Ultimate Incantation wasn't the first. Well, I, I, heard. I fucking love that material. <clears throat> yeah, dude. To this day, the uh, Vader demos are my favorite thing. But actually, you know what? Uh, Vader's one of the few bands I actually. I, what did we discuss? This? I like everything by them. Yeah. Now, some more than others. I'm not gonna say that I like it all equally. And this is definitely. But I don't up think they, I don't. I don't think they have a single uh, turd in the catalog. Right, and I mean, and and so to have this, the original too, because I have that demo set. I have the Rebor Reborn Chaos, right? It's called. Yeah. Like I, I think I even have a picture disc of that. It's funny you say it, because I have a picture disc, and when I met all uh, Peter and Doc, yeah, and you know, I signed them. Uh, I think I believe it was Doc that said he's like, "Oh wow, this is a bootleg." Oh, is it really? I was like, "Is it?" That's what I said. I said, like, "Is?" I was like, "Even know. like I literally know." He's like, "Oh, cool." It's like I don't even I don't even have one of these. Really? Yeah. And yeah. he said, "So my Reborn Chaos picture disc is literally signed by for sure Doc and uh, Peter." So well, that's so so that's really fucking cool, Todd. For one, because um, to have I because I love I love those collections, but I I also like there's just something obviously about the the stuff of that time period and having the original of that. Where like now, like well, plus it's got the original different. cover art. Like exactly. that's not like it's you know what I mean. It's actually got it's full a piece cool. of history. You get yeah. to find all the stuff. It's about history. So you were so cool about for me anyway. What was cool to find out about this history, seeing one of these in the flesh is let me show you there. So it's better camera. So see that it's Carnage Records. Yeah, you can't really tell, but it's Carnage Records on there in Poland. So what's really cool is like I thought that this demo. Was going to be like most demos, and you know, I mean, Xerox and all that, where like it's actually like pressed, but notably it's on a record label already. So, in it's kind of like I don't know, makes it's just a different way of demo because like if it's already on a record label, it kind of begs the question like, is it a demo then? Isn't that what a demo is for to get signed to a record label, mm -hmm. regardless of the size of them, which yeah. could be the answer? Um, but then it was kind of cool because apparently that was what uh, in the Polish scene in the 90s. Uh, was a thing that Carnage Records was doing because then they put out this Magnus tape. Mm -hmm. And then there is this Magnus tape, The Gods of the Crime, but then there's, like, the album that even has this cover and these recordings is called um, I Was Watching My Death, but then there is a demo called The Gods of the Crime with a Xerox cover that Carnage Records did not put out. Okay. So it's kind of confusing because they did put out a demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then they put out the studio album and then called it the demo. So, but like, you don't know that history. You don't get to see that. Yeah. And I would have never known that Carnage was doing Vader. And actually, I probably should know that, though, because uh, I believe when I interviewed Peter and mentioned Magnus, he did remember that. And, and I think he said that. That the back in the demo days that they did, had did he like Magnus then like like yeah he, he did he remember he's like and he remembered like all the spikes and stuff so do you think like based on I mean he probably didn't answer and you probably didn't ask this and even if you did he wanted to probably give a very truthful answer is if you're in your recollection talking to him do you think like to this day if he goes into his car he might occasionally listen to Magnus to this day or do you think yeah. it's probably something he listened to twenty years ago and doesn't care I think he might because. uh you didn't listen to the interview. <laughs> uh, I brought up how they did that. Go listen to the interview. You didn't bring it. You didn't talk about listening to Magnus No today in 2020. But I brought up how they did that cover album of all those Polish obscure yes. bands. Yeah. And he seemed really passionate about it, and as if he did listen to okay. it still. Okay. Um, and he didn't. He just didn't have like. He did like. He seemed like he actually kind of, maybe not like as much as he maybe did, and maybe some of the you know old old vet metal veteran <laughs> kicked in, but uh, I don't know. He just still seemed like. Actually, I passion for it. Yeah, he didn't like pull the Metallica car, where it's just like, yeah, like, and then and then if he did, he still has the power. Because didn't you notice like an old timer of his caliber, so a Polish guy, even when he does not give a flying fuck, 
There's still their interests of what they did give a flying fuck about. Their go-to references are still far more Superior. entertaining because, like, how they ever even got into metal was, like, far harder yeah. than the American scene would ever even, you know, through. So, But it's going to be more interesting because basically any uh, band that starts later on is going to have more of an interesting profile. Because think about any band, like, let's just say you started in, like, 1980. You your first album. Right. But what do you think you were listening to prior? Anything 70s or 60s? So it's kind of like, oh. Yeah, you know, it's like everybody heard of that. As opposed, to like if you got if your band started in 1990, you know, you probably grew up on like Possessed, Death, stuff like that. Already more interesting than like, you know, it was Deep Purple, Van Halen, and you know, Black Sabbath. It's like, oh, well, great, I well. think the story too of success. I mean, granted, we're comparing apples to oranges as far as the bands of our example here, um, but like, like Peter didn't get like success where yeah, he admittedly Vader is his career. Like he didn't like blow money and buy. Man, maybe he has a Lamborghini if he can afford one. Uh, but like he still like even the interests. Like so he like did. He was talking about how he did like reenactments of like World War Polish battle, World War Two Polish battles, and how important it was to the community and people and stuff like that. So it was like even stuff like that. Like that's cooler than James Hetfield driving around in a Lamborghini because it's just of like of course. Yeah. And like you're not even in the you're not even in the heavy shit anymore. Like you know what I mean? Well, the, at the, all? My whole thing is yeah. Like I say anymore? Was he ever? Think about like kill, kill, kill well, all. The came story out suggests that well, they 80, were like kill them all came out in '83. What was? Why we talk about this band? Why? What was came out before that that he would have been? maybe Venom, maybe Fate. Yeah. So like, what could what interesting could he been like using the heavy shit? Because you know damn well, as soon as he was in the spotlight, he wasn't listening to any bands that were his predecessors or you know what I mean, or just around at around the same time. But and, and then if they were, like, eventually you lose the and and that's I mean, we, and dude, we've, again, what it is? What all? Uh, 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 it's not even just them. It's most most of those bands. Yeah. He and was like, he, yeah, he's like, he's like, yeah, uh, you're like Exodus. Now you like him because you're your buddies. That's who you two are. <laughs> you weren't playing blinded by blood on your right. own like, in your car. No, you weren't. So what I'm saying is, like, he was into heavy shit. He was, he was never into heavy. I mean, honestly, he's pretty much never into heavy shit. Well, honestly, that's a good point, too. Even his buddies. And sure, that would have been the Bay Area scene, and we all know and love that and appreciate those that struggle of metal doing what it did to be a scene. Because um, not everybody accepted it, obviously. There wasn't a fucking uh, an era that people were just wearing band T-shirts because it was cool. I mean, I guess there always was, but not to the level it is now. You know what I'm talking about. But even this, like, where, sure, it's Vader's buddies of magnus back in the day of course you'd still listen to that but it's still kind of cooler because like poland having buddies was kind of like you really fucking needed some buddies for this scene to ever do especially to the magnitude of what the i mean it's a thing polish death metal yeah. you know what i mean to where it's like it's just kind of like eventually something's gonna happen when you hear every american scene story we're not so much in, especially a place like Poland. Yeah, because it's especially it was really poor back then. And exactly, they didn't have access to the regular world as easily as like Americans did. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like supposed to happen almost in a way. So like that story and him still liking that, doing that cover album, tw- you know, thirty years later, still cooler because what it, you know, if the Talica did, the if the Alternica did, like as they have done. Oh, they done cover albums and shit. That yeah, they what was the, the what Curse they, of the Pharaoh? Yeah. yeah, they covered one song. Well, I no, they dude, they had, what do you mean? Like that's their whole thing. Like then Leonard um, Skinner's on it, well, and then there you go. Why the fuck? Would, why would I <laughs> yeah, because it's horrible. Dude, it's I, didn't know, I didn't even know that. But then, like, yeah, but then no, they were always crap. They were always covering like um, new era British heavy metal stuff. They were throwing that in. Like, am I evil? That cover was like. Mm. One of their first breakthrough things, like, and then like it was on that jump. I think it was on the jump, or I think that was actually uh, a single of its own. Was the MI Evil one? I have the picture disc, or I have a picture disc. I don't know. Why are we talking about that? Because I mean, there you go. I, I, I do kind of. I, I obviously like it to a degree, and have some of the rarities. Well, and but shit. pretty much everybody likes the early shit. I mean, but I don't it, think but it does go back to the J Dog one because, like, oh, you like the Talca? It's like, dude, why don't you have these picture discs then, huh? No. Why don't you know anything about what Am I Evil is? Because though you know those fools too, like, no. Am I Evil is a cover? You know, Diamond exactly. Head, they yeah, dude, they don't know who Diamond Head is. Right, right. Diamond who? No, they don't know, right? You that's, know? What I'm that's why, in a sense, I actually do like to see it on a true metalhead's vest because it's almost like just, a, just, just almost like the socket to the dumb fucks. Yeah, because but I like, can't tell you that story that I just told you about and, and how passionately I said it, and then Magnus being that band, and then have a Magnus patch finally over, and then a talent no, no, going over that. Like, no, I know. That. I just sometimes it's like it, it's almost like. It's almost like kind of just like a fist in the face, like just kind of get out of the. Oh, you're, Jesus you're, you're 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 in a scene that you don't belong in. 
Do you know that line, though? A fist in the face of yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Death Master. Well, there you go. Uh, so or, we'll, we'll, the, uh, uh, Tox Call Cost, 7 inches. Exactly. So back to the gifts of Adam. Thank you for the shirt. And there's that reference for you. See, I, I, I'm entitled to it. I know the Tox Call Cost is uh, one, of so my, that, or, uh, Tox one of my favorite thrash bands of all time. You know, that's, uh, that's one of a few bands, too, next to Vader's. I like but wasn't Death Master, that was a rare 7 inch for a while. Yeah, it's. Uh, it was the it's, hologram. It's the, uh, it's, yeah, it's two. Yeah, there was different. I have a few versions of it. Yeah, yeah. This is the two track seven inch uh, Death Master and uh, Metal Attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heavy Metal Attack. Yeah, that was, uh, that's a great seven inch. Right, right. So um, that's not the shirt, but <laughs> yeah, still fucking. No, sweet. we did. Uh, Hell's actually did uh, official shirts of Death Master years ago. Dude, this, this see this em, this episode embodies that I wish I had it because that's another band and I do have it on the vest. I was waiting like fuck, man. If there was only a toxic Holocaust patch, and I remember when Evil Never Dies came out. Yep. But I remember when Joel put it out, and no, 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 Witch's Brew put it out. The CD. But, and then Nuclear War. So then it was already like fuck yeah. But then it was so fuck yeah because Nuclear War now then put out the LP and it came with the patch. So I finally got the fucking patch, and I didn't give a shit. Because I would have, I definitely then then did care about breaking the package deal. Like you couldn't sew the. the but Hell's did. Uh, but I patches. had to, dude. No, but uh, but a couple years later after that, Hell's did uh, uh, official patches. Do you remember when it was just the maybe toxic? That, maybe that was why because it was the toxic it was the logo. Because I have it on mine. It was the toxic logo, and um, well, with there the you, uh, dude, dude, true fucking story too. There it is. Where. Yeah, no, that's not the patch. That's the, that's, yeah. But that's from but the diehard. Do you remember? Yeah, do you remember the patches that uh, Hell's did though? Yes. With the uh, symbol, the toxic symbol. Yes. And toxic, the, yes. You know, the, yeah. But yeah. Press those officially with Joel, and you know, and uh, but I, no yeah, Magnus like, patches yet. What do you mean? I don't know. I've never seen a seatbelt. I've never seen Magnus. No, sell there's one. been. I thought you did them, or somebody did them, or you had one, or you never seen a Magnus patch ever. No, it would be on my fucking vest, dude. That would be a back patch. I, I think because you know how uh, basically almost everybody and their mom has patches now. Not uh, Magnus. I, no, I want to say almost, I'm almost positive Hell's had some come through. Wow. Maybe I'll just I've seen some. Text so many, me next time there is. <laughs> um, I, mean, I could be wrong, but I want to say that somebody. I think did. you're wrong, dude. I, I uh, yeah, but if, if somebody's doing it, this guy wants to know. Um, that was some fucking cool shit. I mean, I just called the segment that, and not to say that anything ever previous was sent. That wasn't Uncool. cool, but like, <laughs> but I mean, come on, do I need to explain that? Fucking Vader demos and freaking shirts that and shirt sizes and, and bumper stickers and then fan artwork that we're gonna put on the wall. Uh, then, then fucking potentially Eric Hoffman from DSI's label. Sorry <laughs> if you're not really the Eric Hoffman, and I guess you are the Eric Hoffman if you are any other Eric Probably Hoffman. <laughs> DSI shirt if it is. Right, right, right. Yeah, so fuck, yeah. Like, fuck yeah, but maybe like fuck no because maybe Glenn and shit. I don't know. If you're Eric I mean, Hoffman, from hey, like Bruce Willis, <laughs> you got at least. Got something people like? Yeah. This guy liked it. Which fine. We'll leave it on that note. Let me retell that story because I think that one's funny because uh, yeah, it's on like that Kevin Smith DVD. He's talking about when he worked with Bruce Willis. Like, yeah. you know, they're in New York and they're on set of Cop Out. Wasn't that the I, not as awesome movie? It wasn't the greatest. Which, which in theory to the story is what he's demanding people to be excited about. Yeah. Or so something yeah. of the likes around that time. Kevin Smith and Bruce Willis are standing in New York and people are honking like, fuck yeah, bro. John McClane, yeah. and then as they leave away, Kevin Smith, man, isn't that great? Like, what's that? Like, dude, 30 years later, and they still love it. They feel it. Like, Probably didn't go down like that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. well, I, I can see Kevin Smith that excited that he just, and he's like, and then Bruce just looks to me. He's like, so you want people to give a shit about only remember stuff that you did 30 years ago? And he's like, um, I kind of made a career on that, Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just he didn't say all that to his face. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but either way, that that's kind of still a lie. Like you only want to remember what I did thirty years ago, kind of, <laughs> a certain degree. Wait, just he's bummed because no one Dude, cares. Especially about that now. guy. If I see he's in a movie, I can't even watch it at this point. But what is he? Because you know he's just like there. Honestly, I don't know in the last few years what he's has done. <laughs> it might be bullshit, but I'm, I th somebody told me about it. Maybe I read it um, that there was like an article that <laughs> that if uh, a certain studio is doing it, it's just a million dollars. Bruce Willis will be in it. Doesn't care. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> he probably gets paid more than a million dollars. No, that's what it was saying. Like Bruce Willis' rate is just a million dollars. It just needs to be a studio that he does. Just give him the script, a million, and he's in. <laughs> but he just hones it in. Yeah. And and that would explain the quality of those recent flicks because, whoo, aren't very good. I don't know if the recent ones are, to be honest uh, with you. But. I was going to say, I was about to leave one of that. What, such as? I don't remember. Yeah, because I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> they were that bad, I don't even remember. <laughs> Fuck! 
Hitman. If anybody wants to send us some cool shit, please do. Because then if you want to have your band on six, nine seconds, it could be cool shit that we'll then play. Otherwise, we'll just converse about it. And I don't even re really remember. Do we even have anything with an open-ended topic? I'm pretty sure we didn't. I'm pretty sure we said leave it in the comments. So if you remember those, because it's, what, an hour and 15 minutes into this episode? Is that what it is? Apparently. And if you remember those, then you made it to the end of this video. And if you remember it, then it's even more so proof that you fucking love this shit. And you're going to have to subscribe and like. No, you're just going to go to ReaperMetalProductions.com because there's always going to be episodes posted there. HellsHeadbangers.com, so you should be buying some metal like that Kerna GLP and everything that's linked in this episode. And when you do all that, we have everything we need to talk to you next time.